Isn't this true? Hello guys, how are you guys doing? I hope you guys are well. Oh my gosh, you know what? Let me put you down because this looks so weird like this. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. How is that? Is that better? Is that better? I'm kind of sitting on the floor, but that's okay. I've got a new camera, by the way. This is a new one. So the, the monitor is over here. So the reason why you see my eyes going over here is because that's where the monitor is. I wanna make sure everything's in okay. It's a slight mess, there's stuff on the floor. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Anyway, how are you guys doing? I hope you guys are well. Um, today, I'm in a men's thrifted um, shirt. I love this. So you know how I love men's, men's stuff. By the way, speaking of men's, if you've not seen last week's, last Friday's video, which is casual winter outfits, definitely check it out because even though we are on the cusp of spring, kind of like next month, it's still cold. Let's just face it, it still is. We're still wearing our coats, we're still wearing our jackets. So if you want some really cool ideas, if I do say so myself, because <laughs> you guys said you loved it and I loved shooting it and it's a bit of a different format to what I usually do. So definitely check out the video so you can see. And I'm wearing the shirt underneath this massive oversized, also oversized H&M um, uh, knit. Okay, what was I going to say? Right, so um, there's a few things I wanna get done today, but um, I want to also pop out to the thrift shops. I haven't done it in a while. Actually, it's a, not just thrift shops, but just, just pre-loved market. I think, feel like I wanna just take a little run um, and go to a couple of spots that I like to go to in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. So um, I will definitely take you guys with me so you can see what I see. It's just like to get out of the house, really. You know what I mean? Just because I know some of you are in complete lockdown where you can't go out or only for like food and medical. But, you know, for here in New York, everything is actually still open and, you know, obviously being very safe. So, yeah, I'm going to take you guys with me. Um, but before I do, I'm just going to show you um, some new Mazoma pieces that came in. And I'm, I'm just getting a bit closer so you can see. You guys know I've been wearing this is this part of the video is in partnership with Mazoma. Um, I have been wearing Mazoma, as you guys know, for a, quite a bit now. I think it started beyond the summer of was it last year or was it the year before when I was wearing Mazoma jewellery? It's been two years at least I've been wearing their jewellery and I, I, I really like it because it's just kind of like everyday easy and I love gold, even though they do silver as well. But um, they just came out with these um, just kind of iconic little hoop earrings. Like there's these small chubby hoops. So very small but fat. And I love that because it makes it very easy for like everyday wear hold on there you go that's nice and close um, just nice everyday pieces god i'm getting right up in your face <laughs> just nice everyday pieces um and that's why i've enjoyed wearing sorry excuse there's some stuff here that's why i've enjoyed wearing their pieces because they're so easy to wear a lot of you who follow me on instagram you guys already know i am very much into like very small kind of earrings i'm always in hoops hoops are the probably the number one earring type that I wear on my channel, not just on YouTube, but definitely on Instagram as well. So it was great to try out this new Mizoma icon piece for the season. The one thing I can't stand is wearing earrings that are too heavy, right? Where you feel like your earlobes are being like pulled down because it's the weight of the earrings. It's, oh, I can't stand that. But these ones are really, really lightweight. So that makes them really easy to wear. So I love that about them, no matter what you're wearing, whether you're casual or a little bit dressed up. So perfect. And also I thought I'd team it with the other Mazoma pieces, hopefully you can see here, that you can wear them at different lengths so you get a nice layering and effect. It's so pretty, it's perfect for spring. I will definitely obviously link to these below. I feel like with Mazoma, because they've got so many different types of pieces that it, they create a community of you, of you being able to be much more creative with your jewellery because you can layer and mix and match, you know, and it just makes you feel much more confident about your jewellery and just, you know, just wear it every day. All right, so I'll leave a link for you below if you want to check out any of the Mazoma pieces, especially these, like I said, these chubby hoops, which are like so easy, like everyday pieces. In fact, I'm going to leave these on now. Yeah, so yeah, let's go out. Let's, let's go out. Let's see what's going on out there in New York. So yeah, you can go virtually through me shopping so we can see what's out there. I'm gonna take you to, um, I wanna to go to a furniture shop 
that I love too. So we'll go there first. Um, one is take it to a couple of vintage shops that I like as well. All right, so I think that is it. Let's um, let's get changed and let's go. <gasps> Amacord. There's a shop I have to take you to. It's called Amacord. Okay, so I'm gonna head out now. We'll see. We'll see how I get on. I have no idea if I'm gonna find anything or not. Who knows? Um, have my polo neck on this is what did i say this is from i don't know anyway i think this is a uniqlo this um and the mazoma chunky earrings little chunky hoops and two uh, mazoma pieces that i showed you a moment ago i laid them over the polo uh, and then wearing the under the stories quilted coat i love this coat it's just i love the whole quilted look of it anyway so i've got that on um with the bottegas old H&M track pants and the trusted old Zara bag that everybody knows by now. Okay, here's Dobbin. That car is so cool. Look, that one. That's badass. vintage shop love this place look at the fiddly fig tree it is massive can you see it I'm taking you to is it's called junk because it kind of looks like that but it's not at least not to me um, it is one man's trash is another man's treasure and it is like furniture stuff so let's just go in it's like an indoor flea market
ten dollar each for these chairs and if somebody is good with reupholstering or can just bring it somewhere it's gonna be a steal <laughs> I like Buffalo Exchange. I'm going to pop into this one in Williamsburg, not too far away from where I was, which was down there. literally off of Bedford Avenue so it's easy to miss this place but her selection is it's so good hi Vintage like I am, then you should definitely check that place out. I woke vintage. This is a chain. There's another one. I don't know how many there are, but I know there's more than one. So I'm going to pop into this one.
right, so this is day two. Um, Amacord, I want to go back to Amacord. It was closed yesterday, it should be open today. So, um, what am I wearing? I have on men's, is this, where did I get this from? Was it a thrift or a vintage shop? The coat. It was one or the other, right? So, got that on, the coat, grey, love this. You know, I've always loved this coat. Bit oversized, nice and long, just the way I like it. That's what she said. And then underneath, I've got on um, a, I think this is actually men's as well. Um, it's a Banana Republic hoodie. And then over that, I put on a sleeveless knit V-neck. And then I'm wearing just, I think this is the end of the story, skinny charcoal jeans. I've shown them before in one of my other videos last year, end of last year. And then the trusted DMs. You guys know how much I love these. The cost per wear on these must be, I don't even know. What's the direction that makes it good? when it's really high cost per wear or really low cost per wear. I don't know. Anyway, the fact is I've worn these a hell of a lot. <laughs> um, and then of course the Kelly bag as well. And that's, that's kind of it. That's everything before I head out and take it to Amacord. I love that place. They are so good. It's a bit more high end, but they have a mix. And one of you guys, cause I mentioned this place before on my Instagram and one of you followers actually went there and you picked up some stuff when you went. So that was brilliant. Cause you tagged me. I just took off the um, big coat because I just realized it's a bit kind of warm outside. So um, just everything is exactly the same. I just wore um, the Ganny swing jacket instead. You guys have seen this jacket. I love it so much. That back pleat. Is so good. All right. Anyway, let's let's go. Let's head out and see what's out there. Okay. So we have made it to Amacord and they are open. I'm just going to flip you around so you can see. Isn't this true? Well, like my mic on. Hi. Hi. Of Amacord? I'm one of the owners of Amacord. Yes. How many of you are there? 
uh, it's me and Patricia, and then uh, even Veronica doesn't own the company, you know, share the company, but it's, uh, you know, she's my boss, let's say. Okay. <laughs> she knows vintage is special because you have only a few um, items available, and, uh, you know, for a fact, nobody will have the same outfit. Um, what makes exactly. Hammer Court even better for me, even more special, is that, you know, we specialize in European vintage. You have a great eye. Thank you. You know, it's so curated in a really is great the, way. Again, it's the collaboration of the three of us, but you know, the key things for, for us has always been to have a, 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 you know, not everybody are experts of vintage, not everybody have, uh, um, the, the, you know, it, it's, it's clear for them, vintage. So the store has always been there trying to help people to put together a, a selection of items that kind of reflect what designers are doing. That's what style is about. It's about the mix and just enjoying it and just coming up with your own unique personality, your own unique style. Well, that was epic. I am so glad that I went into Amacord and it was open today. I love that place. I think the whole point of this video was I just wanted to take you around to some of the places that I really like to just pop into every now and again. Let me just show you the bag. Hold on, hold on. Look. This is what I got. Ta-da! It's so nice. It's this vintage. God, I'm not even showing it properly. It has a long strap and it's wide, which is so cool. I think the strap alone is just so badass. And it's so like, I don't know, it just feels like um 70s vibe, this bag. It's it's completely overstuffed, by the way. Let's take some of this out. Um, but yeah, this is it. Just a simple flap bag patchwork but i love the color combination this is so nice to wear especially like in the autumn and the fall this is such a nice color com oh i love it i love it i love it that is my lot um i hope you enjoyed coming with me for just to check out a couple of shops and just to see what's out there just to get you out the house right but um yeah give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed just coming out with me for a little bit just to escape you know from sitting on the couch for a little bit and um what else do i want to say i think that's it i will see you guys next week friday and between obviously this friday and next you can talk to me on instagram that's where i am um god I actually rhymed so i just got home and i was about to start editing this video and just ended it where you saw me earlier when i was out but i just wanted to mention my toast is burning that the owner, he's one of the owners, it's three of them for Amacord. He said off camera to me how, um, cause I had, I've mentioned, I've been going to that place for years. And um, he said how the last time I went there and put it on Instagram that he had a lot of people who came in and he, he was just saying how, how thankful and grateful he was. And I could, it, it meant it really, it really meant a lot because I don't really get to know, like, especially shops, you know, I don't get to know, like, if I mention the place, if people go, go after, after I've said it, but I got that real life feedback and it really meant a lot. And I just, you know, let me turn this toaster off. It's making so much noise. Um, sorry. It just, it really, it really meant a lot. And to get that, you know, face to face feedback of how much of a big deal it meant to him and it, yeah he just said it's one of the biggest um lifts they they got um when i did that and it just yeah i don't want to keep, keep repeating myself but you know i thought about that when i came home his words really resonated they stuck with me and i just wanted to tell you that as well but it was really it's a great thing um i think the message really is just to you know you know, we all love to shop. I mean, you wouldn't be on my channel if you didn't and love style and fashion and all that stuff. But, um, you know, don't forget all the small businesses out there. Just try and incorporate them as much as you can. Even, you know, a lot of them are online now, so you can do it that way. But um, just, just, yeah, do the best you can because it, it, it goes a long, long, to them it goes a really long way and I, and I know it, it does. So, yeah just helps helps a lot and it makes you feel really good too all right now i'm really gone bye